We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, started out of Wheeler, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. Since 1969, we've been teaching the truth, and that truth is you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true Jews according to this Bible. We are not affiliated with any other Hebrew Israelite camp or Christian organization. The oppressor, which is the white man, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. And that's thus said the Lord, man. And what we came out here to do is teach our people the truth. Because the truth hurts. The Christian church is not going to teach you the truth. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are comfortable in the Christian church. They are comfortable being lied to. But us priests and prophets of the Lord, we're going to teach you the proper truth according to this Bible in God's words, man. The pastor has been lying to blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. How do I know? There's an identity theft that's been going on for 400 plus years. And the Christian church has not said nothing about that identity theft. And what is that identity theft? The identity theft is Jesus Christ, man. According to the Bible, if you didn't know, color matters, man. And this is why blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are destroyed in America. Because we don't know our identity. And we can't identify who our enemy is because the Christian church has taught us that color doesn't matter, man, or they're oppressive. But guess what? According to the Bible, color does matter. If you black, Hispanic, and American Indian, color matter, man. And this is what I'm about to break out. So like, if I can, can somebody grab me that sign on the ground right here? Or the ear mic? We're going to show you something in the, in the Bible, man, that contradicts the Christian church. The re so I'm not Matthew 6 and 24. The reason why we are destroyed as a people because we are under this man's right here oppression and under his rulership and under his doctrine, man, which is Christianity. This guy right here tells us that color doesn't matter. And this is why we are destroyed as a people. That's foolishness according to the Bible, man. The, the, the Bible say that I am not the author of confusion. That's confusion according to the Bible if you believe that color doesn't matter. And this is how you know it's foolishness, man. There's a video that's been surfacing through all social media of a little black girl that's around seven to nine years old. She had two doll babies in front of her. She had a black doll baby and she had a white doll baby. And, they, and the oppressor asked her, which one is the ugly doll baby and which one is the cute doll baby? What, what doll baby you think that a poor sister picked, man? She picked the black doll baby because they said, which one is the ugly doll baby? She pointed directly to that black doll baby. And that's self-hate under this doctrine right here under our oppressor, man, which right. is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. That teaches us self-hate. And when we about to break out, we're going to prove to you self-hate in the Bible. And this is the reason why. You got to know what? Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24. No man can serve two masters. No man can serve two masters. The reason why color doesn't matter and you and you blacks and Spanish and American Indians are under their oppression is because of this guy right here. You can't serve two masters. This man right here walked the face of the earth. His name was Caesar for jail. This image right here that they pushing to be Jesus Christ is not Jesus Christ, man. And this is why black people are destroyed today because we believe that our oppressor is Jesus Christ. And every, everything that the oppressor has, He's, he's God. He's the angel. And this is why we respect this person. But God says this. Read. No man can serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters, man. And we're going to this is the reason why you can't serve two masters. Read. For either he will hate the one. For either he will hate the one. Read. And love the other. And love the other. Right now, blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians, we love the oppressor. We love this image right here. This image right here is what we love. But the Bible said, you will love one and what? For either he will hate the one and love the other. You will hate the one and love the other. You want to know why that's black on black crime? It's because we're trying to serve two masters. We're trying to serve the oppressor. And we hate each other. But according to the Bible, color matters. This man right here is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And this is why blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are destroyed today. Because we were taught that color doesn't matter. But according to the Bible, this right here is hypocrisy. The Bible describes Jesus Christ in the Bible if you didn't know that. And the sad part about it, we have the description in the Bible, but the Christian pastor doesn't go in it. And how do I know he doesn't go in the Bible? In your church right now, they have this image up in your Christian church right now as we speak. 
of this pastor right here, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And we're going to show you the description of Jesus Christ in the Bible. Give me Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Like I said, the like description we just pulled out, Matthew 6 and 24, you cannot serve two masters. You need to go to love one and hate the other. Right now, like I said, we, the reason why we destroyed is because we love him, man. We love him and we hate one another. We think one of, we think our people are the enemy, man. But truly, this is the enemy. We all have a common enemy. How do I know that? Blacks are being targeted by the police every day and night, man. We get pulled over for a simple headlight. We get shot by the police under this oppressor right here. We got the Latino brothers and sisters in cages right now at the border. We got Native American Indians on reservations that's down there like a prison. And, and, and they're pulling liquor on our, our Native American Indian brothers, man. They're getting drunk and they're destroying themselves under the oppressor, man. Because we're trying to serve this bastard right here, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of. But we about to bring out the truth according to the Bible like we've been doing since 1969. And we're going to give you the true identity of Jesus Christ that looks just like us and not this devil right here, which is the oppressor, man. You got what I want? Great. This is, the, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means reveal. We're about to reveal something to you according to the Bible that blacks and Spanish and American Indians, if you were in that Christian church, I know you don't know because you're under this oppression right here under the white man, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Now jump down to verse 13. Read. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. This scripture that we're pulling in the New Testament, in the book of Revelation, we're about to give you the true identity of Jesus Christ, man. Read. One like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. It's giving you the description of what the, what the black Jesus Christ had on. He had on a warrior's garment down to the foot, man. Breathe. It's on the And girt about the pack with the golden girt. And around his long area right here, he had on a gold warrior belt, man. Breathe. And his head and his hair were white like wool. The Bible said his hair and his hair were white like wool. White is the color, wool is the texture. Like I brought out earlier, you cannot serve two masters. But the scripture just gave, the, the Bible just gave you the description of Jesus Christ. His hair was white like wool. Like I said, the color was white, the text, and the texture was wool. Now look at this image right here and tell me does that fit the description, man, of the Bible. That does not fit the description of the Bible. You cannot serve two masters. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes was as a flame of fire. Hey, this blue-eyed devil right here doesn't have red eyes like the Bible just described, man. Hey. Christ's eyes was red was because he drunk wine. You can find that in the book of Genesis, chapter 20, I believe it's verse 1. He drunk wine. And we all know that blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians, when we drink and we feel nice, our eyes turn red to let you know we nice. According to the Bible, Christ had red eyes because he drunk wine. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. And his feet like a to fine brands. Now we all know the color of your feet is the same color as your entire body, man. The scripture just said it's feet like a to fine brands. Now we gotta we gotta figure out what color is brands. This color right here is not brands. Brands is the, is the color of a penny, man. A shade of brown. Now ask me, does this fit the description of the Bible? No. Read. Bible God. As if they burn in a furnace. Now, if you take that brass color and you put it in a furnace, what color is this going to turn, man? Black. This script, this picture right here that we have before us is not the true Jesus Christ, man, according to this Bible that they have in the stinking Christian church, man. And this is why the minute I should be saying since 1969 to come out the Christian church because they hate us. They're trying to make us serve the oppressor, which is the devil. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ looks just like us. The Christian church is full of hypocrisy, man. Color matters according to the Bible. And this is why we hate one another. Because we're trying to serve him and we hate us. The Bible just said earlier in Matthew 6, 24, you can't serve two masters because you're going to love one and you're going to hate the other. That's right. We love the oppressor and we hate one another. Right. That's why we have black on black crime. Because we don't know the greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth look just like us, man. If you look at the oppressor, even in his school, 
everything he teaches people in the school, he has people that he can look back on. He, he has heroes. For example, the founding fathers. You got your George, your George Washington. He has his people that he can look back on as heroes. But ask blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians, who is our hero today? We don't know. They just know it's fast. Blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians today, we don't know who our heroes is. The heroes that we think are our heroes destroy us. Our heroes is Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King destroyed our people. You know how he destroyed our people? He turned us to join his hands under the, uh, under the oppressor, man. Right. This bastard right here, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of. We don't have any heroes to look back on. But if you black, Hispanic, and American Indian, guess what? All our heroes is in this Bible right here we have before us, man. And they look just like us. All our heroes is in the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, from Malachi to Job to Solomon. They all look just like us. Our identity is in the Bible. And the greatest conspiracy on the face of the earth is the black man, and the black man, woman, and child, man. We have stolen our identity according to the Bible, man. We have the oppressor that's trying to beat us. They say we anti-Semitic, man. How can we, how can we be anti ourselves? The Bible said that the real Jews are black. But the oppressor is trying to be us. He put himself in Jesus Christ. But we just showed you according to the Bible that Jesus Christ was a black man. And now there we're going to keep going. Give me Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. I'm going to keep saying the scripture that I pulled before so you get the proper understanding. Because these pastors in this Christian church is not going to teach our people. They hate our people. They love the oppressor. And to, and to prove that they love their oppressor, they have this image up and they hate us. They don't give us hope and joy, man. They don't give us justice in America. They give us more oppression, man, according to the Bible. And the Lord told us to separate from this people right here, these people right here on this side. This nation of people are the wicked according to the Bible, man, on the face of the earth. And we got to separate from them and we got to get out the Christian church because the Christian church hates our people. They're not going to teach you the truth. Color matters. Y'all know what? Read. This is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourning. The Bible says Judah mourning. If you look on this side right here, you so-called Negroes in America today, your nationality, your father is Judah, man. This is who we come from. Judah. And the Bible just said Judah mourning. So that simply means the real Jews, according to the Bible, are at the bottom of society. We're suffering. We're in mourning. But if you look at the Jews in Israel today, they own everything on the face of the earth, man. Right. They own the entertainment industry. Right. They own the diamond district, man. Right. They own everything. They are not at mourning. The Jews in Israel today, they are in heaven. They are in their heaven. But the Bible just simply said that the real Jews will be at mourning, man. We'll be at the bottom of society. We will be suffering, man. Read. Oh, God. And the gates thereof language. And the gates language, man. The gates was put around your house to protect your house. That's the metaphor of simply talking about your leaders, man. Your leaders were supposed to back you, back you according to the Bible, but they failed us as a people. And this is why we destroyed. Read. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. Spell it. B-L-A-C-K. The Bible just simply said, man, man, the real Jews are black according to the Bible. And this is how you know Christianity hates us as a people. And they serving the oppressor rather than our own people, man. Right. Blacks and Hispanics and ain't working Indians. You cannot serve two masters. You're going to love one and you're going to hate the other. If we was to come back to this Bible, we can stop black on black crime. We can fix ourselves. Right. We don't need the oppressor to fix us, man. Right. By us joining hands with the oppressor, we're going to continue to destroy ourselves. But God, according to the Bible, tell us to separate from him right. and love us. Right. Don't love him. Because he's going to put us further in oppression. And this is why we have brothers and sisters high on drugs. We have sisters in the strip club pouring themselves trying to survive, man. And it's not your fault. It's because we're trying to serve the oppressor. Right. And we hate one another, man. You can change. You can change. That's the whole purpose of repenting, man. It means to do no more what you were doing. Come a new person. Come to turn away, man. Come into this Bible. Like we did. We all was once victims, man. We came and got a flyer. It came under the command, the, the, the priest of prophets, under commander during your harness since 1969. And we changed our lives, man. We are right before your eyes. We are changed men. We used to do all the wicked things on the face of the earth. But we changed because we separated ourselves from the oppressor and we love one another, man. Because we once loved this oppressor right here and we hated one another. That's how you know, man. Read. Oh, God. They are black onto the ground. They are black onto the ground, man. The real Jews, according to the Bible, 
are blackened to the ground. But the Christian pastor, even though a pastor under his, under his religion, which is Christianity, teaches us lies, man, teaches us foolishness. They teaches us that color doesn't matter. And let me show you how simple that is, according to the Bible, man. They tell us that color doesn't matter. But right now, if I myself, and you see me right now, was to commit a crime, and you see everything that I got on how I look, and there was a $50,000 reward to tell you, to, to, to describe who I look like, I should hear you say that color doesn't matter, man. That's foolishness. You know that I'm a black man. The Christian church has told you that color doesn't matter. So if the, if the cop was to be like, we have a $50,000 reward for you to describe how that person looked that committed this crime, your simple behind should say that color doesn't matter. That's the doctrine that was taught to us under Christianity, under this oppressor right here, man, which is confusion and foolishness. And this is why God specifically told his people, God's chosen people, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians, to separate from this oppressor, man. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper, told it, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fans in order